That was so awesome. It's on. It's on. That that was so awesome. Will you give him another hand? Education is the key to success, and we do know that Mr. Lincoln, wow, Mr. Lincoln, we love you. All right. <laughs> it's a great honor to be here with my friend, Frederick Douglass, and hear the life story of my other friend, Dee. Uh, truly inspirational. I uh, understand you've been doing some flooding down here. Well, I grew up in Dodd Creek, Kentucky. And one of my earliest memories is when my father Thomas and I planted pumpkin and corn only to have a flood come and wipe it all out. Mm. We lived off the land, and so uh, I'm not ashamed to admit I cried uh, when we lost the crops. That was, that was a big deal. It reminds me, this group, seeing this large group, reminds me of a time I, I was a circuit lawyer in Illinois, traveling by horseback from, uh, from a circuit judge from, from town to town. And, uh, I came to believe something about the people. Uh, I became a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The great point is to bring them the real facts. I know in today's day, sometimes we need some real facts. <clears throat> Where do you find folks from? I believe, uh, am I writing from Arkansas? I like your motto. Great and unpopulous. Because I truly do believe that the people rule. I've heard you ladies and gentlemen call yourselves a land of opportunity. Well, since I grew up living off the land, I believe in opportunity for all Americans. <clears throat> Are any of you from Texas? Do I see anybody from Texas? I've heard that some of you enslaved men and women in Texas have not heard about my proclamation which freed all the slaves in the rebellious states. In fact, some of our Texan friends did not even hear about that proclamation until June 19, 1865. This was more than two years after I, President Abraham Lincoln, signed what we now call the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all the slaves in the rebellion states. I can see that this group's heard about this. Uh, oh my, what, uh, what year is this? Uh, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on what, what year this is. Uh, let, me, uh, let, let me just tell you about the Emancipation Proclamation since it's so many years ago. And I'll read from the proclamation. Now therefore, I, Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of these United States, by virtue of the power in me vested as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States in a time of actual armed rebellion against the authority of the government of the United States as a fit and necessary war measure for suppressing said rebellion due on this first day of January of 1863 and in accordance with my purpose to, to publicly proclaim I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves within said designated states and parts of states are and henceforth shall be free, and that the executive government of the United States, including the military and the naval authorities thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of said persons. Yay. See, the full power now will be responsible, full power of the federal government now be responsible for sharing the freedom of all persons that I believe were included in our great Constitution, which begins with, we the people of the United States. Thank you for inviting me to this most auspicious event and undertaking to commemorate the most significant battle for freedom our country has ever endured. I leave you now, hoping that the lamp of liberty may burn ever more brightly in your heart. Thank you.